Hey Danny, well, oh, I got a song for you, check this out. Name is Dan Carter, to the smelly farter. Yeah, what a great song. Oh yeah? You like that one, hey? My wife loves you. Do you want to learn how to play a song for everyone with a green screen Dan Carter? Me either! So for this song we are in the key of E and the intro starts with um, there's all this wishy-washy sort of E chord business going on in the background but the uh, the guitar actually starts with some little riff thing up here uh, starting right up here on the 12th, 14th and 16th frets okay so we're gonna bar the 12th frets of the E and the B strings okay the first two strings sound like that okay and then we're gonna reach up with our pinky and we're gonna play on the 16th fret of the E so we're gonna play the B here on the 12th fret of the B string and then you're going to reach up and play with your pinky on the 16th fret okay and then then um, down to the 14th fret with your ring finger so okay so from the 14th you're going to reach back up with the pinky and then to the 14th and then off Okay, so it does that twice. Then the last two times you're gonna go and play that note up here twice. Alright, alright, and that's our intro part. Next is our verses. Okay, so we're gonna start with this E chord. So let's bar the 7th fret like so, the bottom 5 strings, leaving this open E string because you can play that as your bass note. Then 2 frets higher on the 9th fret we're going to bar the 2nd, 3rd and 4th strings. Like so, okay. And I use my middle finger just to support that finger there. Or you can play it like that if you're one of those people. Alright, but I prefer to play it like this. So. Okay, so you're gonna play that E. Then you're gonna quickly change to the B as a passing chord. And so you're gonna keep the this fret bar, but now you're buying all six of the strings. Middle finger goes to the eighth fret of your G, and then these two fingers are gonna go to the ninth fret of your D and A string. Okay, that's your passing chord of B. Just for one quick up strum. Then you move it two frets higher by taking off your middle finger. And your little finger, and that's a C minor seven. Okay, and that's the chord that you laid on. And then again, back to the B as a passing chord for one strum. Then E. All right. Now, uh, the first time, let's find that do this. But the second time. Okay, there's that riff. It's gonna take a little bit of practice. Add it if you want, if you if it's too hard for you, you can just ignore it completely. No one's gonna notice. So it's gonna start here on the seventh fret of the A string, then you're gonna slide from the ninth to the eleventh. Then you're gonna reach up and play the ninth on the string above it, on the D. Then you're gonna hammer on from the 9th to the 11th and then off, pull off again then you're going to reach down to the 11th on the next string down on the A string okay. then back up to the uh, to the 9th on that same on that uh, D string Alright, 
that leads us to the pre-chorus part, and there's, there's just two chords, it's an A, alright, and a B. So um, it's just like an A bar chord, except we're going to leave these two strings open, I think it gives it a cool sort of sound. So let's bring our first finger to the fifth fret of the A of the E string, the lowest E string, then we're going to use these two fingers to go to the seventh fret of the next two strings down, which is your A and D strings. Middle finger is going to go to the sixth fret of the G. Okay. Now, the second guitar is pedaling on this, the, the B octave, okay, so B and B on the G string, the 4th fret, and the B up here on the 7th fret of the E string, okay? But if you haven't got two guitars, or you can easily just play the A like this, and then put your little finger down to play that B at the top, and then when you go two frets higher, you can use your first finger to play that beat. Alright, and that easily gives you the same sort of sound. Alright, that leads us to the chorus. Let's play an E this time, we're going to open it up again to leave these bottom two strings open. So first string it goes to the 7th fret of our A string, then these two bad boys are going to go on to the 9th fret of the D and the G strings. So that's an E and you're going to leave, play this open bass. Oh, 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 yeah, then to the A that I told you, that's all for everyone. And then back to the E, oh, 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 oh. and then B. That's then uh, the first chorus, that's the end of the chorus, but the second chorus and the subsequent ones, then the next second round it goes, it goes to a C-sharp minor. Oh, 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 for everyone. E. Oh, 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 B. Alright, so the only change is that instead of playing the E the first time it plays the C-sharp minor. So let me teach you that one. Put your first finger onto the fourth fret of your A string. These two bad boys go into the 6th fret of your D and G string. Middle finger is going to play on the 5th fret of your B. And then this E is open. Okay? Okay, that's the second time. Alright, then that leads us back into the verses. Now, uh, the other part to the verse is the second guitar part that's playing. And if you're interested in learning that, I can teach you that right now. Middle finger is going to go to the where are we? 13th fret of your G. First finger goes to the 12th fret of your B. Okay, it's like an E chord, the, the bottom of the E. So you're going to go, which is just G, B, G, B. Then you're gonna come down and bring. Okay, then these, instead of being up here on the uh, 12th, it goes down to the 10th and 9th. Okay. So, this, actually, when I, when I come down here, I'm just muting this G string now. I'm not actually playing this note here. Can you hear that? It's not actually a note, it's just that's what I'm doing plucking a muted string. Just to give me that, so it's still, to the ear, it still sounds like I'm playing that note or some note, there's still that rhythm to it. But there's not actually that note, it doesn't go. Okay, it's actually. Now there, you're going to bar the uh, 12th fret of the E and the B strings, and you're going to play once. You're going to slide to the 14th, stop, come back and then play the 12th again. Not, you're going to stop at the, the 14th, and then come back down and play the 12th, like that. Cool, that's that riff that's happening in the background of the verses. Uh, 
Um, now, the only other part to teach you is the the bridge, which is where uh, we have our Anisha Mystic Brothers, Felitti and uh, Donald, rapping, and, and the, the chords for that are that's the same as that chorus one so that I taught you the second half of the chorus, so C sharp minor, and then to the A. I'm rapping, I'm in need of mystic. La la la, my favorite food, fish sticks. La la la, la 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 la. Like that, okay? But those aren't the words. And I'm sorry if Lady's watching this video. Don't tell them I rap that line. But need mystic and fish stick, they rhyme quite well. And I couldn't think of anything else. La 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 la, need mystic. Alright. And that, my friends, is the whole song. With well, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below with what song you want me to teach you next. And also go and buy a copy of the song. It's for a great cause and uh, some fantastic New Zealand musicians on there. You've rocked New Zealand! God bless. Goodbye.